and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this simple logo in Word. So let's open a new document and I'm going to turn this page around to landscape. So go to layout, orientation, landscape, just zoom in, go to insert, shapes, click on the drop down and select the circle. To make a perfect circle, click hold down your shift key and drag out a circle. Now I'm going to make this logo quite large. Then when we come to save it as a JPEG, then it will inevitably have a little bit more quality to it. Once we've got this circle, I'm going to go to shape format. If you can't see shape formats because you haven't selected it, go along to outline and select no outline, go to shape fill and then choose a color of your choice. Let's choose a blue. Then I'm going to simply copy and paste this. You can use any copy and paste technique, but I'm going to select it, hold down my Alt or Option key, click and drag. Then I'm going to deselect them both and reselect this circle. Go up to Shape Fill and select White. Then I'm just going to hover over the circle and produce a moon effect. Now you can produce more of a moon, if you simply reduce the size of the circle, but do remember to hold down your shift key. And then you can make this as thin or as thick a line as you want. Once you've done that, select this circle, hold down your command or control key and select the other circle. Then go up to group and select group. And then we're going to copy and paste this group again, holding down my alter option key, click and drag and you will copy and paste. Then I'm going to select this one and then I'm going to go to group, ungroup, deselect, reselect the blue circle, go to shape fill and select a dark gray. Then I'm going to select them both again, go to group, select group, then holding down my shift key again, I'm going to simply reduce the size of these circles and using this rotation arrow, I can rotate this round until I'm happy and I can simply put it in this circle here. I'm then going to go back to the blue circle, I'm going to copy and paste it again. And then this time I don't need to change the color. So once again, I'm just going to reduce the size, rotate it, move it round. Select the grey one, copy and paste, deselect, reselect it, rotate it, and reduce the size of it. Once you're happy with your design, you can go up to insert, shapes, select the square, Click and draw out a square or rectangle, sorry. Go to outline, select no outline. Go to shape fill and select white and deselect. Then go to insert, text box, draw text box. Click and draw out a text box. Write your company name in and then you can select it. Go to the home tab and fully customize it. You may already have text available for this particular company name. Increase the font size using increase font size. If I deselect, you can see we've got this black borderline and a white fill color. Select the box, go to shape format, outline, no outline, shape fill, no fill. And then you can place this where you want. I'm now going to go to home and just send the text into the box. Then I'm going to copy and paste the box. Deselect, reselect. Place your cursor inside by clicking again. Command or Control A will select all of the text. 
and then you can simply put in your next set of text. I'm just going to select it all and reduce the size of it. Go to text color and change the color to gray. It's going to take out this full stop and then just reduce the size of this box. Now what you've noticed is there's a larger gap between my text. That's because I've put a space between each character. That's just a personal design feature. Then I'm going to select both of the text, holding down that command or control key, go to shape format, align, align to center. Now these two pieces of text are perfectly lined up. If I deselect, if I've got any problems with the distance that these sets of text have, I can simply use my arrow keys to separate them or put them closer together. Let's just get rid of that line. Once you're happy with it, you can group them together. Go to group. And then of course we've got this white background behind and we need to make sure that's perfectly centered and of course big enough. So what we can do is just move this down, perhaps make this a little bigger, pop this up here. Now you're going to struggle to, to actually select that white box behind because I want it all centered. So what you can do is select anything on this logo, go to shape format and go to selection pane. And then here you can see everything that you've inserted into your document. So what we've got to do is to go along and find out which of these groups relates to which piece of text or graphic. So you can see at the top group six is the text and we want to identify the white rectangle, which I think is this one here. So we want to select that rectangle, then holding down your command or control key, select group six and now you can see they're both selected and then you can go to align align to middle then you can group them together and then what you can do is you can group all of the circles together so go to group three which is set of the circles hold down the command or control key and select all of the groups and then group those together then what you can do is to select group eight and group seven, which is, as you can see, the circle group and the text group, and then go to align, align to middle. And that will just make sure the text here is in the middle of these circles. Then deselect. Check you're happy with the alignment of the text. I just want to move that slightly to the right. Then you can select both elements again and you can group them together. So now you have this one group. Now this won't actually save as your logo because you need to convert this into a JPEG or a PNG file. So what you need to do is once you've grouped everything together is right click, go down to save as picture. You can save it where you need it to be. You can name it picture one. I'm just gonna save this to my desktop and of course file type you can choose from any of these file types i'm going to choose a png file and then just click save what that will mean if i just move this to one side is i can go to insert picture picture from file go to my desktop you can see i've got picture one at the top here click insert and you need to be able to move it. So go to wrap text in front of text. And now you can increase and decrease this logo. And of course it won't change the actual dimensions of the logo. Whereas if, for example, I did it to this one, you can see what happens. It all distorts. If you want to keep this, you can keep this as a document file. If you want to make any later changes, and if you only save it as file, obviously you can't make those changes. So I would keep this just in a Word document so you can adjust it whenever you like. If you want to be able to make the little shadow underneath and the background, as I showed you earlier. So if you want to make this shadow and this slight shadow background, I'll quickly show you how to do that. So we're just going to move up the logo, go to insert, shapes, go to the circle, click and draw out an oval shape move that up, go to shape format, 
back over to Format Pane, go to Format Shape. We're going to take away the line around the outside, so go to No Line, go to Fill, go to the Color, and you'll see that we can select from these greys. Let's choose a very light grey. Then we need to go to this icon here, go to Soft Edges, and then simply use this little cursor to make a nice soft edge for a shadow. Deselect it, and you can move this wherever you like. Just play around with it until you're happy. Once you're happy with that, go to Insert, Shapes, go to the square, click and draw out a rectangle which will stretch right across your page. Then back over to Format Shape, go to No Line, and then go to Gradient Fill. And here in the Gradient Fill, you need Radial. And then in Direction, click on the drop down and choose the center one, which is the circle that's inside in the middle. Then Gradient stops here. You want two stops. You can see as I move this slider, it moves in and out that circle in the center of the page. To change the color, just go to Color, select White, and then choose this one here, which is the gray outline. Click on the drop down and choose from a particular gray. If I choose the red, you can see what it's doing. So then let's choose the gray. And then once you're happy with that, just simply go to send backwards, center back. And there you have that outline there. You need to move this up a bit. That's fine. The only disadvantage with doing a logo this way is that you can only use this on a white background and I'll show you why now. If we turn this right down and we move this gray over, you can see all of the white areas that will show. Now, if you're happy with that, that's absolutely fine. You can do that, but obviously you need to be aware that there will be a white background on this logo. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.